Hi everybody, Honest John here. Full disclosure, I'm an atheist, but I grew up a Catholic. I went to Catholic school. I even studied to be a priest for a year. So I grew up believing it was a sin to eat meat on Friday. At the time it never occurred to me to ask, why? Why would God care about this? But the Catholic Church is not the only religion that has weird re restrictions. Some religions, for example, forbid eating pork. Many religions require you to fast at certain times. Some religions have dress codes. We all know about some branches of Islam requiring women to wear veils and burqas. Some Islamic sects require men to grow beards. Some religious sects are against music or art. What all of these things have in common is that they have nothing to do with being a good person. What I eat, how I dress, or whether or not I grow a beard does no harm to anybody or any good either. The obvious question is why would an all-powerful and omniscient God care about such trivial things? And the obvious answer is he wouldn't. So what's the point of these things? Why do religions attach this bizarre moral weight to things that are in and of themselves morally neutral? The answer is obvious and also disturbing. It's all about control, and not just control over your behavior, control over your thinking. If I can get you to accept these things without question, then I become the sole arbiter of what is moral or not because you have surrendered that power to me. In short, the more devout and devoted to your religion you are, the less likely it is that you will have a moral compass based on principles and independent thought about what is right and wrong. This is how you get things like religious wars, the Crusades, the Inquisition, persecution of other religions, witch hunts, scapegoating, and other horrific and obscene actions performed in the name of God. It is also why the religious right almost unanimously supported Donald Trump. This is a profoundly evil man, a sociopath, a traitor, a criminal, a con man, a serial sexual predator, and an accused rapist and pedophile. Obviously his supporters have no personal sense of morality. We saw what they were capable of on January 6th. A lot of religious people claim that they are the guardians of morality, that there can be no morality without religion. The truth is the exact opposite is true. Religion is the biggest obstacle to personal morality. Thanks for listening.